crazy. What up? Dang, what you watching? You loud. Oh, man. I'm watching B Wavy, man, on YouTube. Funny as hell. He do pranks, challenges, vlogs, everything. It's lit on his channel. Man, I'm telling you, you got to go subscribe to him. Look, I got him on my computer, too. Mo Mafia, make sure y'all go over to B-Wavy's channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, y'all. Give him a scroll, check out his channel. He's on the road to about 10K. Once he gets there, he'll probably do a good giveaway for y'all. Y'all already know how that go. He does pranks, challenges, vlogs, uh, public stuff, a lot of public stuff. He's funny as hell. So y'all go over to his channel, hit that subscribe button, and then let me know once y'all do it, all right? Game. I hit hard bars, you can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch wanna pull me closer. It's telling to Mo Tuesday, baby. Come tell me what's going on with you. You know I love you, girl. Alright, I'm doing too much. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl Mo. And y'all already know, it's Tell It To Mo Tuesday, which y'all been waiting for. I know I skipped a week, so I owe y'all. So we're going to do double the amount of entries today, okay, y'all? I got y'all. I think I got about 12. Got a couple written ones, some videos, a whole mix of stuff, all right? As y'all know, I don't pre-watch them, so it's going to be a surprise for everybody. Got my handy-dandy phone, and we just going to go into the Tell It To Mo folder, and we're going to get right to it because we don't like to waste time. At least I don't. Alright. So let's see. Hey Mo, I need some advice. It's like, I'm trying to make this YouTube channel, but shit, it just ain't going right. You know what I'm saying? I just want to know how you started. And then, you know what I'm saying? When you started your YouTube channel, how did you build from there? And what kept, what kept you motivated? And it's like you just didn't care about what people thought or anything. Because like, I feel like I care too much, but at the same time I don't. I don't know. I just need some help. But, like, advice-wise, you know what I'm saying? But appreciate you and Mac, you know what I'm saying? Y'all keep doing big things. Good looking. Well, I can only tell you what I, you know, what I pretty much have been saying this whole time. Like, just, you know what I'm saying? Starting YouTube ain't easy, you feel me? It's like you got to really have your mental together. You got to have confidence. You got to be, you have to have time. You have to be creative. It's just not about putting anything out there it's a whole algorithm to youtube and i tell people that all the time it's not as easy as it seems i was blessed with a gift to be funny without trying so it's like you know what i'm saying i was also blessed with good looks as well as you know i'm i'm, I'm very informational at times so other than that though just be yourself be consistent be creative you feel me? Have tough skin because people going to talk shit. People talk shit to me every day. And guess what? Banger. Drop tomorrow. Don't care about that. But yeah, just do your thing, man. I'm telling you, Um, as far as like the ins and outs, I did do a video. I'll put it right here in the, in the eye. Or maybe it'll be right here in the eye. It's on one of these sides. But I'll put it in the eye uh, for you to go check out. Okay, it's uh, how to start a YouTube channel. All right, y'all, next one. Hello, Mona Lisa. Baby girl. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> so my name is Diamond, and I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina. I just wanted to know how to become a successful YouTuber. Um, I think I have four That's videos crazy. up. But, you know, I got, like, less than 10 views on all of them because I just started. And so, um, yeah, I want to know how to get my views up and what to do. You know what I mean? Like, I got to do something, you know? But, yeah, Period. just let me know. Bye, Mo. She's cute. Um, Same question again. Be consistent. Be yourself. Be creative. You know what I'm saying? Check out this video I'm finna put in the eye again. It's in one of these corners. Uh, I mean, I don't... I honestly, y'all, 
I honestly don't know what to tell the next person because YouTube is such a large platform that is so many different things to do. Like there's nothing that I you <coughs> damn, but there's like there's so many things to do. It's so many genres to to feel. It's comedy. It's um. You know, whether you're doing advice videos, whether you're doing how to do videos, whether you're doing kid videos, you know what I'm saying? Whether you drawing or doing art or maybe you got a smoking channel, you trying out different types of marijuana. Like, it's so much shit to do on YouTube. So, it's not, like, what I do is not going to be what other people do. I have different ideas, you feel me? So, it's all about you being creative and being you. People get on YouTube and try to be somebody they're not. Don't do that. Why Why you want to be the next person? Be you. So all I can really tell y'all who really looking to do YouTube is have tough skin. Be consistent. Be serious about it. Don't play play. And don't, don't do it. Depending on what you're doing on YouTube, don't do it for the money. Because the money don't come right away. I'm a living witness of that. I'm not rich. You feel me? But I love doing YouTube and it's fun. And I can survive for now, but I was doing YouTube for two years and working, dropping bangers still. Wasn't as consistent as I am now because this is my full time job, but you get my drift. All right, next one. Let's do a written. Okay, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right here on the screen. It says, Hey Mo, it's Ashanti. First off, I wanna say I love you so much. Every time I watch your videos, you keep me laughing. Laugh a lot. I support you 100%. Anyways, I've been dating this boy for a year. And it will be two years in March. But we're not together. And the reason for that is he graduated early. So he he graduated in 2019. I graduate this year in 2020. I'm 17. He's 18. We lost our virginity to each other in November of 2019. I got pregnant and my parents forced me to get an abortion. And told me not to tell anyone. I was pregnant but he was the first person I told he was in he was the first person I told uh and when I told him about the abortion he was in tears he never did anything to hurt me at all and doesn't cheat he gives me attention anywho he just joined the navy and you know we were writing each other for a while I was tagging him and post on Facebook then all of a sudden the writing stops uh, so I joined all his Navy groups just to see when his division graduated so I can watch it online. Fast forward, I ended up getting a job at Taco Bell to get my mind off him and not writing me, him not writing me. All of a sudden, my phone goes off. It never goes off. So I was in shock. Laugh out loud. So it was his mom and she sent me a picture from when he graduated boot camp. Then she told me not to post it on social media. I was confused. Anyways, the Navy took him took a little court office and asked him who who I was. He said my girlfriend. Then asked how old I were and he said he was going to lie but they already knew my age and said he can get charged. I'm so hurt because when I asked him what he wanted to do, he said at at this phase in life, I don't need a girlfriend. But but we still get on the phone and text. It's just like it's it's like I know he wants me. I turn 18 July 7th. He'll turn 19 September. Mo, can you tell me what I should do? I ended up quitting my job. Well, because it was too stressful. I told him I needed him to tell me he loves me because he, I needed it so bad. I guess his roommates would tell their petty officer so he couldn't say it. I just want to know, should I keep this up or leave him alone? That's deep. That's deep. Now, that's a lot. She was dating a dude. She's 17. He's 18. She got pregnant. He went to the Navy. The Navy found out she got pregnant. So, they asked him, who is she? Did she have the baby? Did I miss something? What happened with the baby? Did you have an abortion? Okay, she did have an abortion. <coughs> So how did they find out you y'all was dating? Confusion. I I would wait till you turn 18 to talk to him. Don't 
jeopardize what he has going on to fulfill your own needs and your own cravings for him. You feel me? You don't want him to get in trouble. You don't want yourself to get in trouble. You don't want a whole bunch of crazy stuff happening. Because by law, I'm guessing in your state, you're too young to be dating him. And the fact that, you know what I'm saying, he got you pregnant. You know, and some, the wrong person might have found out. I don't know. Like, I didn't know, like, people got in your business like that when you're in the forces. That's crazy, though. But, yeah, that's what I would do. I would back up, give them some space, turn 18, and then go crazy on Bay. Period. Because at that point, can't nobody tell you who the fuck you can date. At all. Next one. Hey, Mo, I want to say thank you for giving me the advice of going to the party. It was my little cousin's 18th birthday, and I was the chaperone, but it was more like a kickback, so it was lit. Like, everybody was chill. We had cake. It, it was fun, you feel me? There was some bottles. Everybody was having fun, though. Hey. And I was the oldest person there, but I wasn't tripping. Like, you want to know? I was fitting in. Right. But, yeah, I just want to say thanks again, Mo. All right. Look at that smile. See? I told you. I need an update. Did you get any numbers? Was the bitches on you? Did you get drippy? Why you ain't send me a picture? Come on, Veronica. I remember your name. Was it Veronica? Yeah. Veronica, I need an update. I need to know what happened at the party. Was it some baddies? Did you catch a couple numbers? Was they on you? What happened? Talking about you went. You ain't tell me nothing. Hit me up. I'm glad you had fun though. That's what's up. All right, y'all. Hey, Mo, it's your girl from Milwaukee, Angel. I just want some advice on moving in with my fiance. We've been together for a year, and this is my first time living with a mate. She's lived with mates before, but just some simple general advice on moving in with somebody you're dating. Mm, that's a different question. That's what's up. Okay, well, um, I'm not going to be biased because <clears throat> I know both of them. I'm not going to be biased. I'm going to be general. Move in with my nigga, bro. What you mean? It's Papi Uno, the one and only. No, I'm just playing. But for real, some advice I would give you is, is create boundaries create not rules not regulations don't make it all schoolish but be like okay this is how we gonna do things come to a medium so y'all know you know what i'm saying it's my side bitch this your side you feel me not even so much only stuff like that like come together if y'all relationship good you know what i'm saying y'all rocking hard it should be more like a roommate situation it, it shouldn't be like Mm, moving in with my bae and saw the uptight. It should be like, it should flow. It should be fun. You feel me? So all I would just tell y'all is, you know what I'm saying? Come to a medium on certain things. Who going to do this? Who going to do that? Because I know from experience, you argue about them bills and who going to pay what. If you don't have it set in stone, who going to do what and how shit going to go, there will be an argument and that can come to an end. That can end your relationship. You feel me? So just... You know what I'm saying? Before y'all take that step, make sure y'all got all that shit in order. How shit gonna go? So y'all ain't gotta worry about that. Y'all ain't that be one less thing y'all argue about. Like real talk. Other than that, I'm I'm proud of y'all. I'm, I'm I'm happy for y'all. You feel me? And I hope I wish y'all the best. All right, y'all. Next one. Okay, so it's another written one, y'all. I'm gonna put it here on the screen. It says. Hey, Mo, so basically my best friend of 15 years is mad at me because I didn't attend her last minute birthday celebration. Mind you, it's not her birthday yet, and she had a party the weekend before her actual birthday. I've been celebrating, and I've been celebrating that weekend with another friend for her actual birthday for the past eight years. Okay. My bestie feels betrayed, but I had already explained I wouldn't attend her function because I was supposed to be out of town. Change of plans, I was in town, but still had plans. <laughs> that sound bad, but we gonna keep going. I've sincerely apologized because she re she's really upset 
about it. And every time I call her, she won't answer. But I text her and her feelings are hurt. Okay, no. She hasn't celebrated my B-Day with me in the past six years. I feel like something on me. In the past six years, she's a lesbian but doesn't like to attend LGBT events like clubs. And I've never complained or threw it in her face. What would you do? I'm really cutthroat and cut people off with no hesitation. But I'm trying here because we're supposed to be besties. Period. First of all, honey, <clears throat> let me tell you like this. If I got a best friend and we're going to do birthday shit, it's not going to be one-sided. Because that, that, ain't, that ain't what's up. It don't work like that. You feel me? No. And then you told her that you wouldn't be able to do it. You got another friend. I have another friend. I have other friends. That's the problem with best friends. They, they act like they're the only one. I can't have other friends. You're crazy. Mac do that shit. Who are you hanging with him? Who you talking to? Like, you're crazy. Okay? First of all, this is your friend of eight years. You attend her party. It's her actual party. You doing a pre-turn up the weekend before. I can't make it, but I'm going to kick it with you on your shit. You feel me? On top of that, you dictating what I'm doing. You acting mad, but you ain't celebrating my shit since we've been friends? Did I read that right? Hold on. Note. I'm going to circle it. Note. She hasn't celebrated my B-Day with me in the last six years. Y'all been friends for 15. But still, it's the fact of the matter. How you mad? I ain't seen you since I've turned 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, or 26. Was that seven years? Who gives a fuck? It's the principle. You can't be mad because I missed your pre-function. No. She'll get over it. And if not, then guess what? Bye. Not nobody got time for that negative energy in their life. Like, you ain't even... You don't even come to my birthday shit. Like, I, like no. No. That just pissed me off. But let me know how it go. Let me know if she get over it. Let me know what happens. Because I'm interested in knowing. Next one. So, Mo, how do I tell this girl I like her when she sees me as a friend? Hmm. How do you tell this girl? You sound so cute and young. Oh, you like her. Oh. Well, I would... Buy her some candy or something. I mean, if you're of age, which I doubt because you sound really young. Um, you know what I'm saying? Write her a little love note. Tell her, I know we friends, but I like you more than a friend. Can we go to the movies? Maybe hang out? Invite her to do something. Invite her to your birthday. Invite her over for a little sleepover party, whatever. I don't know what kids do nowadays. You feel me? Let her, you know what I'm saying? Do it. Be creative. You know what I'm saying? Write her a poem. You feel me? What are you good at? Invite her to sh see you do it. Maybe that'll make her like you too. I don't know, you know? You sound like a kid. I don't really know what to say here. But, yeah. Try some of those. And get back at me. Let me know how I go. Next one. Alright, I got another written one, y'all. Hey, Mo. My name is Sasha. I just want to say I enjoy watching your channel. You are very funny. And I'm also from the north side of Milwaukee. Shout out to the meal. Um... And today is Tell It To Mo Tuesday, so I would like to ask you a question. So me and my wife, we've been together for two years and everything uh, have been going okay. But we're getting into it about this one particular thing because she's a stud and I'm a femme. And she feels as though because she is stud, she doesn't supposed to help cook, clean, and, or clean around the house. Oh, Kurt! Let me finish. And as me being the femme, it's my job to do so. My question to you is, do all studs feel that way or is it just her? Because I feel like we're both two females regardless of who is the aggressive one or not. 
it should be 50-50 in a marriage as long as we both making things, making sure things are good in the household. So, Mo, let me know how you feel about the situation from a stud point of view. Ex Girl, let me tell you something. I don't even identify as a stud. I'm just Mo. I dress how I dress because it's comfortable for me and I do what I do. People tell me I'm feminine all the time. At the end of the day, a woman, as a woman, are you sure she's not transgender or want to be a guy? Or she thinks like like maybe 75% of her head is man? Because at the end of the day, you a woman. What do you mean I don't got to clean, I don't got to cook? I cook clean for my woman. I make sure things are in order. I, I don't like filth. So you mean to tell me one day I'm sick. I, I'm sick. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I got the flu. The house dirty from the kids or whatever it's dirty from. You just going to let it sit because I'm the woman? No. Or I'm the femme? No. I absolutely not. Don't. I, I, hell no. I don't agree with that. You know what I'm saying? It should be like you said. It should be 50-50. Y'all in a relationship. I think that with men and women too. Everybody talking about, I'm the breadwinner. I come home, clean, clean house. That's fine. But at the end of the day, it shouldn't be like, that's it. Like, you're never going to clean. You're never going to cook. You a whole woman, too. I don't care if you sold your plastic Peter Weeder on you. You still a woman. Clean up. What you talking about? Next one. Ooh, this is a lot. Alright, it's telling to Mo Tuesday. Mo, what's the word? Sure. What they do? Hey, so, um, I don't know if you remember I was telling about the Gemini situation with my friend, but um, she had had a baby, which was my godson. Mm -hmm. And we had fell out about maybe, I want to say, two months ago. And now her son's birthday is this month in January sometime. I was there when he was born. You know, I was there for him out throughout everything until we got into it. And I haven't talked to her. I ain't tried to reach out to her. And I'm just thinking, like, how do you think I should have the situation or should I just let it go? Because, I mean, I got my own son. That's my papa. But that was my godson, too. I love the little boy, but, like, should I just leave it alone or get out? You know, I don't know. What should I do? Hmm, that's a tough one. Because it's always a soft spot when it comes to kids. You feel me? Like, you, when you love a baby or a kid, it's like, it's hard to just, you know what I'm saying, let them go. I know from experience. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that you should definitely reach out and just, it don't have to be about her. You feel me? Uh, it could be about the baby strictly. If you, if that's your God, baby, you made this my God, son. I feel like I should be able to be in his life, regardless of what we're going through. That's the grown-up thing to do, but a lot of bitches don't feel that way. You feel me? So, my advice would be to reach out, let her know, hey, I know my baby birthday coming up. Can I see him? Can I come to the function? You know what I'm saying? On some smooth shit, cool shit. We ain't even got to, you know, really talk to each other. I just want to be there. And, you know what I'm saying? Go from there. That's what I would do, at least. Next one. Alright, y'all, we got another uh, written one. Hey, Mo, you know you funny as hell and the GOAT. So my question for you is whether or not I should keep pursuing a relationship with my dad. Ever since I was little, there was always been problems with him. And he wasn't always there for me or my mom. It's been times when my mom asked him to come to my school activities or to come help with me. Or come help me with my issues at school. And he would say no. There's been times when he didn't pay child support. Or when him and my mom were together. He would not He would drive the car to work. And make her take the bus. While she was pregnant. Ooh. And he just always talked about my mom in a bad way. Even when I was little. I used to always peep when I was little. And I didn't think it would have an effect on me today but it still does so basically i'm in my late teens 16 and 17 he uh he started to come around oh when i was in my late teens 16 and 17 he started to come around so the relationship is decent but he has trouble with his anger and it's so uncomfortable being around him i feel more comfortable with my stepdad than i ever will with my dad so one day he told me to call him and i didn't call him i called him after like two months and he was screaming on the phone 
screaming on the phone at me. Talking about why didn't I call him. Before he hung up, he said, don't call him ever again. And that was all his paychecks are going to, that all his paychecks is going to his other kids. It's crazy how angry he was at me for doing something like that. But I can't, but, but can't understand my sadness. I felt from him not being around when there was nothing, not even my mom stopping him. So I'm really trying to get into a positive mindset and release good energy into the world. And even after everything, I have love for him because that's my pops. Okay, But sad to say, it feels good with him and me not talking because I have so much peace and no negativity with me. So it's like, should I reach out and try to make it right? Which I have done so many times or just leave it be. That's deep because I kind of had that same situation. Not not all of the aspects of how your dad act and stuff. Because my dad, you know, he wasn't like that. But he just wasn't there. But then he'd come around and stuff like that. But I think that you should definitely reach out just for your sanity. to For you to be able to say, I tried. You feel me? Um, which you have done before. Now, like you said, you in a you in a mindset where you're trying to keep positive energy, put nothing but love and positivity into the earth. I definitely feel you on that. So for him to constantly keep being negative, you don't need that. You feel me? Sometimes you have to have you have to let people grow up. And I know we talking about your dad, but his mindset as a man and as a grown man it can't be where it needs to be if he's not reaching out to his children or if he can tell you i'm a i'm a i'm gonna give this to this kid but not to you that's not right you feel me so either you can draw back and let him do what he needs to do to get his mind right or you can reach out one more time just to say i i did it and it, this is my last time doing it and then you just let him know how you feel Bam! Slap it all on the table, and you let you let him do what 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 he thinks. You know what I'm saying? Let him let him take it all in. Let him feel what you've been feeling. That's that's my advice. Next one. All right, y'all. I think this is probably the last one. Let me see. Yep, this is the last one, y'all. So she got a co-worker <clears throat> who'll be flirting with her, invited her over her house for Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? Like, is she gay? Is she straight? You know what I'm saying? Like, and she want to know, she want advice about whether or not she should bust the move. Do you like her? I mean, do you flirt back? And you know what I'm saying? Is she your type? I mean, if she invite you over for Valentine's Day, baby girl, something is bound to go down. On Valentine's Day... All I can think about is roses, Hennessy, and 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 you feel me? So I mean that's up to you. If you feeling like you wanna you like her and stuff, do it. Why not? You live once. Turn up. You grown, right? Do your thing. Y'all feel me? That's my advice. Alright, Mo Mafia, that's gonna be the end of Tell It to Mo Tuesday. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, boom, hit that notification bell. So y'all know when I'm dropping bangers, y'all. It's 2020. We going up. Uh, y'all. A lot of bangers coming. I got so many ideas. Is We going in. You already know. Now, I do need y'all to do me a favor. I will be putting up something in the community tab 
for uh, name ideas for the talent shows that I'm going to start doing. Today is Tuesday. The first one will be aired Thursday, but I need a name. I'm st I, I, I was on live and I got a couple names, but nobody inboxed me the names. I always tell y'all inbox me or DM me your ideas because I will forget. It'd be so many so fast and, and I just be needing y'all to send it to me so I can actually have it. So I'm going to be putting that post up in the community tab. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. All right, my mafia, and we finna get lit, cause we the shit, gang.